Hello everyone. The topic for the day is basics of finance and accounting. So basically this is for finance for non-manager, the basic topics that we'll be covering around here. Finance and accounting, what exactly it, it is, will introduce you to the uh, basic concepts, basic principles on how to record a transaction and so on and so forth. And probably carry on with a legal, legal business altogether. So accounting <clears throat> is nothing but the language of business. It tells you about digits, it tells you about the transaction, it tells you about the money receivables and money uh, to be debited or credited to somebody's places, things like that. So what are your assets, what are your liabilities? If you want to have at a glance, you can watch it through the accounting section and that is what the language of business is talking about the accounting for and now we are talking about the steps to analyze, to record, to quantify, to accumulate, to classify, to report and to interpret economic events to particular things. For example, you purchase one particular uh, product from a vendor and you add certain freebies, certain utilities, certain uh, features to that product and sell it further as a resource material for another vendor. So you are a part of a supply chain. So you're giving value added services, value added to the productions. So that is what you call and going about. So from uh, transaction A, where reflect, where, which reflects that you are receiving a raw material, utilizing it, manipulating it, and then for furthering it to a, a transaction B, wherein you are giving it to somebody else for further processing. So what is it all about? You, you are analyzing the records, you are quantifying the records, you are accumulating the records, you are summarizing the record, report it down, interpret the economic events. So remember, each of these things are events and their effects of the organization to prepare the financial statement nature of accounting so accounting system are designed to meet the needs of the decision maker who use this information for their day-to-day -day understanding of the business and looking at how which direction the business is moving around so every business has some sort of accounting system these accounting system may be very complex or very simple but the real value of accounting system lies in the information that the system provides remember this is what is what i'm trying to tell it to you a system which is which can be interpreted by anybody external to the organization and internal to the organization so that is what is universally understood so probably i can cannot have logging in transaction in such a fashion that an external organization once it goes through my log notes or transaction book or book of accounting or my balance sheet or trial balance or profit and loss statement get confused get does not able to interpret things so that means there is something wrong when i'm logging in the record so that needs to be needs to be filled with a particular system that needs to come around it which is universally applicable so every business has some sort of accounting that needs to be understood. So accounting as an aid to decision making. So what do they do? Managers, what are the decisions? Managers want to know whether the business they are entailing into, is it profitable or is it loss enticing? Owners want to understand what is the productivity of a lid. Often each individual as a cost center, each employee as a cost center, each department as a cost center. How do you go around it? Investor wants to know if the company is a good investment or not. This is very true. Definitely somebody, why somebody is going to put in money in your, uh, in your business only when there is a sizable return around it. Legislator on the other hand wants to know how the law is going to affect it. The legislator is not only interested in the proposed law, number one, because their government earns earns from the business itself in the in the form of tax receipts so you need to understand so creditors or the banks would like to know what are the credit limit what is the financial hand can the amount that has been loaned out loaned to them to an organization will they be able to service the loan will they be able to repay it back so for how much for how long they need to understand those concepts altogether then comes government regulators once you know the financial statement confirm through the requirements as to one when on basis so accounting as an aid to decision making. What are the accounting fundamental relation is an event. We talk about an event, account analysis and recording. Yes. So what is event is any transaction that comes in. Anything that there is an exchange of hand and money is involved around it. Remember, goodwill is not to be recorded. Only money is to be re recorded. If there are any debts, any credits that needs to be taken. Now these needs to be uh, tallied into a financial statement so that everybody can 
interpreted this is very important everybody should be able to interpret the result all together if they are not able to interpret it there is there's something wrong with this thing so users can be multiple that can uh, can go around here so the fundamental relation is decision making process this are the events that needs to be taken care of then comes the financial management accounting the major distinction between financial and management accounting is the use user of the information what are they to the external user and to the internal user financial accounting is for the legibility of the business or legality of the business for understanding this external stakeholder that comes around it herein is your audit firm herein is your vendor here is your bank where if you want to uh, get certain loans if you want to apply for certain let's say uh, you want to get your company listed in the stock market so what are the external thing we have red herring uh, prospectors all together you have to tell them everything out there on the other hand for the internal users are management accounting for management to understand what is at their disposal as a resources as an administrator within the organization how well can they manipulate their resources to the optimum utilization for the benefit of the organization so financial management and management accounting the primary question there are two what do the decision makers want to know number one is the financial picture of the organization what is the health of the organization in terms of finances is the health pink or is it going to stay blue you need to go around it you need to answer this question how, next question is how well did the organization do to the given period see this given period can be an historical period which you can do so look at a previous quarter or previous years same quarters and understand how the business is the business cyclical or not accordingly take a decision and probably predict for the next quarter or for the, the same quarter next year so and this can be made in subsequent uh, fashion in either of the either of the way both of the past event and the future event how do you predict it how do you go about it and similarly you can have to arrange the finances you have to uh, plan for your manpower you have to plan for your capex or capital expenditure as the case might be. the accountant on the other hand will answer these things these primary question with only three statements and that is what my statement would be given to you of which the most important is the balance sheet the balance sheet gives tells you the picture on any given day what are my assets and what are my liabilities this is what is all about what is my asset current asset current liability long time asset long time liabilities that is there in the company and then comes there a income statement now this income statement is usually for a quarter absolutely for a quarter that needs to be done around it and or an annual basis so legibly it is every 90 days you have to give an income statement probably monthly statement or also available but not used by the external uh, stakeholders at all external authorities don't don't give that much of an importance because monthly uh, statement can not give a right picture and then there is a statement of triple cash triple column cash flow double column cash flow so statement of cash flow over a period of time period of time can be weekly monthly quarterly or the say or for the sake of the saying it what is your business is all about it if there is a long lead time it cannot be quarterly it can be only on an annual basis if there is on a day to day transaction that it goes around it so probably on a weekly basis you have to have a cash flow statement around generate it out so what are the annual reports a document prepared by the management and distributed to the current and potential investor remember the word is current and potential investors and they are both external to the organization to inform what about your company's past performance about what you are planning for the future so annual report is the most common sources of financial information utilized by the investor the manager this is the must kind of thing that you need to keep it in mind so annual report is not only a financial statement but it is also a marketing document if your company is doing good people will get impressed by looking at your annual report your annual statement your prediction for the future what is the cash revenue that you are going to go around what are the number of orders that are in the pipeline what are the number of orders that you are presently negotiating and might get finalized in the subsequent quarters or so on and so forth so these needs to be understood for every stakeholder the potential investor the current investor and so on and so forth the annual report usually includes a letter of the corporate management from the top man himself where the buck shops all together 
the management is basically a discussion analysis of recent economic by what kind of orders that the management is expecting what are the negotiation which is going with the prospective clients footnotes that explain many elements of financial statement what are footnotes are maybe there might be certain bad debts that needs to be accounted for or been written off in this particular quarter quarter or that bad debts are part of it has been written off and has been offshooted by the profit around it so these needs to be mentioned in the footnotes the report of the independent auditors needs to be validated yes very true you can and not beat your own drums you require it to be audited through a third party altogether an independent auditor a statement of the management responsibility of preparation of the financial statement as to who gives or who signs the statement what kind of responsibility or designation he or she carries within the organization and definitely about the, the other corporate information as to where it has been registered where it has been located which all site it has been present who are the clients that needs to be serviced so these are things that needs to be mentioned in the annual report annual report can be a tool where it shows how transparent how socially responsive the organization is all about it therein it infuses confidence in the investor and the prospective uh, the company now we come to the most important part and probably the part where i want to wind it off because this needs to be etched into your mind so that you have to clearly remember that balance sheet is you know, what makes up uh, the difference what is your assets and what is your liabilities look at the two end of the sticks you cannot have more of liabilities and less of assets usually the ratio should be 2 is to 1 so you have if you have 100 rupees or 100 dollars or 100 rupaya as uh, your liability twice the amount should be your assets that is not not uh, to be understood every time so for every dollar that you take loan 2 dollar should be at a kitty in terms of long term assets or in terms of current assets that's there at uh, the exact ratio is 2 is to 1 which is supposedly considered healthy beyond that if it is 3 is to 1 4 is to 1 bank will happily give you all your loans financial institute will make a b line for you to give them to give you the loans so section of the balance sheet did i say about assets liabilities yes this is assets and this is liabilities that is the only thing that comes around it now comes the owners equity which i'll discuss it after i've discussed the assets and liabilities resources of the firm that are expected to increase some a kind of future cash flows or everything that the firm so or the business that goes around it the orders that you have taken the orders you have got it and probably if if it is a capital expenditures you have uh, purchased a plant purchased a factory or installed a new facility new technology these might be assets for you on a long term basis which has to be depreciated over a period of time then comes the liabilities liabilities are nothing but obligations of the firm to the outsider or claims against the assets by the outsider or debt of the fund now this debt is the money that the firm owns to the outsider this to be remember so liability is something which you are owning to the outsider and you are the obligation to do it where is the owner's equity is where the money has been parked in the residential interest there are other things that comes around here right the money comes in in form of interest or in form of rental income or in front of claims that against the firms or there might be litigation between the firms and another firm for example and they got a claim from uh, the court of the land so that needs to be understood the firm's assets again deducting the liability so it is the right of the owners that comes around here so asset is what asset is nothing but liabilities plus the equity of the owner or what is owner equity it is nothing but the asset minus the liabilities so whatever your profit or whatever revenue which is generated minus the cost and if you can depreciate all the cost take all the liabilities write it off whatever assets were there that is the that what belongs belongs to the company that what belongs to the equity of the owners be the person uh, involved or be the stockholders involved if it is a listed company to every stockholder this is the owners equity that comes up. we have this 22820 which is balanced around by this figure which is the profitability of the uh, hafiz company so that needs to be understood so each transaction has a counterbalancing entries and keeps the total asset equal to the liabilities and the owners equity the balance sheet equation must always remain balanced this is something which is as fundamental as it gets so just as a balance sheet you remember this thing must always must always balance 
balance sheet there cannot be imbalances as, as such if there are any imbalances that means some transaction you are either forgetting or trying to hide so that should not happen a balance sheet could be prepared after every transaction but this practice would be awkward and unnecessary and basically speaking very cumbersome lethargic doesn't make sense it is only creating nuisance in the longer sense therefore balance sheet is usually made on a monthly basis or quarterly basis i prefer monthly and quarterly quarterly basis is a crux for the annual report that the company has to publish every quarterly and apart from it we have the annual balance sheet remember nowadays taxes have to be filed every quarter so everything gets gets completed within the quarter and everything get finished it off so transaction analysis are recorded in accounts which are the records in a particulars of asset liabilities and owners equity which i have been telling it to you account balance is the total of all entries to the account that has taken place the sum total balance of all account and all the entries so in a business it is not only one entry that needs to be taken care of you might have so many vendors you might have got so many salaries and wages to be paid you might have people going out on the company's visit on the company's per cost there might be other expenditure in terms of advertising branding there might be other things called commission brokerage is given to your vendors and there might be breakages also wherein things would have come back to your company because of the non adherence to the quality that you have promised so there are n numbers of entries that needs to be understood which needs to be logged in which needs to be recorded you see the word out here is recorded as under assets under liabilities i have given you a, a display of the balance sheet and ex, as an example it's just a sample thing it is not as simple as the balance sheet is all about it just to understand just to make you understand that was given for you i hope you it makes sense to so transaction analysis is for each transaction that the accountant must determine remember every time there is a transaction the accountant has to log in the notes which specifies the accounts are effective which specific account if it is branding and communication if it is a uh, social media ad that you are giving out if it is a advertisement over a television if it is an advertisement on a print media so under which company to go uh, accounts can, it goes around it it goes around marketing so what about your salaries what, what about the wages what about the travel allowances that you are meeting up for, for the employees who are going for the on behalf of the company for a work so under which kind of things that would come around it the hr cost that you going to go around it so whether account balances are increased or decreased the amount of the change in each account needs to be noted around this is transaction analysis is all about it similarly i am just trying to give you certain definitions to remember what are they number one is the inventory the goods that is within within the workshop or should i say in the store of the firm which are going to be utilized for selling purpose to earn revenue so goods held by the firm for a resale so anything that is there in your store anything that is there in your workshop which will be utilized which has commercial values which will eventually be sold out to the uh, consumers are inventory accounts payable is a liability that result from the purchase of goods or services so you have purchased certain things and that means you own somebody some money some sort of some dollars you are owning owning to that vendor right so that means and it's an account payable concept right you have to pay it out the dollars have to go out from your uh, kitty to somebody's else pocket similarly is the compound interest i hope the account payable is clear with you compound interest is a transaction that has two accounts all together that is where we we talk about it the brokerage is come out the commission that comes on for every transaction what are the brokerage what are the transaction and then there are two accounts same as something very fundamental which i should have mentioned it earlier let me put it down there is a something called a creditor see this is very important creditor is very important absolutely important so is debitor you just cannot obligate creditor and debitor creditor the one for money is owned right from owned on the debitor who owns the money so this is the simple con concept debitor who owns the money and creditor one to whom money is owned